What's up everybody, Brains Do Zero here, and today is February 9th, 2022. And today, we're gonna record a video about how bad we can run a country into the ground with horrible policies. Or, who knows, maybe we'll end up surprising ourselves with some good ones. Regardless, let's get to it. We're going to create a new game. The United States of America, let's see, we actually have choices here. We could either do the United States of America, United Kingdom, Germany, France, or Canada. Let's see what each one has to say. The United States of America is the world's third or fourth largest country by total area, and the third most populous country in the world. Americans are a racially and ethnically diverse population that has been shaped through centuries of immigration. The United States is a federal republic and a representative democracy. It is a founding member of the United Nations, World Bank, International Monetary Fund, and NATO. The USA is a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council. Its population is 328 million as of January 2020. The size 9.8 million square kilometers. Largest city is New York City. Agricultural land, 44.5% of total. Ethnicity, 76.5% white, 18.3% Latino, 3.4% black. National Anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. Top tourist destination, the Grand Canyon. Pop, most popular food, cheeseburger. Biggest industry, real estate. The United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland actually consists of four countries, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. The UK is a constitutional monarchy, effectively meaning the monarchy is symbolic. The head of state is the queen, but the country is governed by a prime minister, defined as anybody who can command a majority of support in the House of Commons, which is the elected chamber. A second elected chamber, called the House of Lords, exists to scrutinize legislation. Population, 65.1 million as of July 2018. Size, 243,610 square kilometers. Ethnicity, 87.1% white, 3% black, 6.9% Asian. Religion, Christian, 59.5%, Muslim, 4.4%, and Hindu, 1.3%. Its exports consist of cars, turbojets, crude oil, gold, and medication. Most popular food, fish and chips. National anthem, God Save the Queen. Wealthiest citizen, Sir James Dyson, as of 2020. Let's see, Germany. The Federal Republic of Germany, more commonly known as Germany, is a federal parliamentary republic uniting the 16 states under the leadership of the president, largely ceremonial, and the federal chancellor. Germany has a strong growing economy, which is one of the best in the world. Germany is a leading member of the European Union. Germany first became a democracy in 1919, but was ruled as a dictatorship from 1933. After World War II, which ended in 1945 and some years of confusion, it reverted back to a democracy in 1949. Population 83,783,942 as of 2020. Size, 350,386 square kilometers. Religion, none, 39%. Catholicism, 27%. Evangelical, 25%. Islam, 5%. Kind of interesting that a majority is not religious at all. Exports, vehicles, machinery, chemicals, electronics, pharmaceuticals, metals, and food. World leader, climate, and energy policies, number of zoos, greater than 400, exports, member of the Eurozone, EU single market, NATO, and G4. Alright, France, or the French Republic, was an absolute monarchy at the time of the French Revolution in 1789. In 1792, with the motto, Liberty, Equality, and Fraternity, France became one of the earliest modern republics. It took another 80 years for France to become a democracy, even then democratic rights were sometimes derailed, including during World War II. And it wasn't until the Fifth Republic was established in 1958 that democratic rule stabilized. France has an elected president and a prime minister appointed by the president. France is a leading member of the European Union and a member of NATO. Its population, 65,273,511, size 643,801 square kilometers. 
Religion, Catholicism, 41%. None, 40%. Islam, 5%. Again, a lot with no religion. Exports, machinery, aircraft, vehicles, pharmaceuticals, plastics, cosmetics, and beverages. World leader of luxury goods, tourism, welfare state funding, and exporting electricity. Member of Eurozone, EU single market, NATO, G4. And its national obsessions are gastronomy, equality, wine, and competitive cycling. Alright, last but not least, out of our options is Canada. It's a federal parliamentary democracy with a constitutional monarchy. The Prime Minister is elected. Formerly a colony of Great Britain, the new nation of Canada first became a democracy in 1867. In 1919, women won the vote, but it wasn't until 1960 when all Canadian citizens, irrespective of ethnicity, could vote and universal suffrage became law. Population 37 million seven hundred forty two thousand one hundred fifty four as of 2020 size nine million nine hundred eighty four thousand six hundred seventy square kilometers religion sixty nine point three percent christian twenty four point nine percent unaffiliated one point two percent islam one percent hinduism and four point one or one point four percent sikhism exports oil wood refined fuel gold metals and gems world leader longest coastline quality of life transparency of government and business national obsessions maple syrup ice hockey politeness and diversity so these are our choices that we get to choose from to play um you know honestly there's a big part of me that doesn't want to choose cliche old USA but being a citizen of the country myself and mainly knowing about this land I'm gonna have to kind of go for USA I feel like because first of all the UK I, know, I don't really know anything about the House of Commons and how they run things there. That would just be weird. It'd be kind of fun because we definitely wouldn't know what the hell we're doing. Uh, Germany and France, I feel like it would kind of be the same, even though they're like more like demo democratic. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go with the United States of America. I feel like Canada would be like pretty easy, but let's just go for the cliche. We're going to run this city into the ground. All right, United States of America, player's party name. Uh, opposition party name, opposition. Okay, so we have two opposition party names. Oh, wow. Okay, we have a lot of choices here. Um, Jesus Christ. The Justice Coalition, the Family Values Party, the Labor League, the Justice League. <laughs> Sorry. The Green Collective, the Dominion, the People's Choice Party, the Lip- Okay, I am not gonna go through all these. I- Holy crap, holy. The Progressive- Wait, what is Progressive Fascist Party? That seems like such a contradiction. How could you be progressive and fascist at the same time? Um... Oh, because, like, whoever's in charge would f force the progressivism on everybody, and if you didn't act within a progressive, like, state of mind, you can be jailed. It's kind of scary. Um, the Popular Democrats. I almost want to go with the Justice League, just because, I'm sorry, the comic nerd in me, it's just so funny. Um... Crap. I don't know. There's so many different ones. The National Technocrats? Let's do it. We're going to be the Justice League. Alright. Opposition party name. The Federation of Socialists and the Fundamental Rights Party. That sounds good enough for me. Compulsory voting, three parties. Difficulty, 100%. Innate socialism, 100 economic. Uh, kind of don't want the difficulty to be up that high. We're, we're going to put it down to like half because, well, okay, we'll put it up to like 75%, okay? Um, starting that 24, oh my god, we actually have to start in dev. Why? 
That's not fair. That is so definitely not fair, but okay. Here we are, we're blaming the previous government. Congratulations on your election victory. Welcome to your new job as president. The lives of all 328 million citizens are now in your hands. As you will imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns that you will need to deal with as soon as possible, while keeping an eye on the long-term improvement of our citizens' quality of life. Plus, do not forget that, you're, that you face re-election in four years, so you will need to monitor the opinion polls and our party membership. Good luck. All right, GDP, health, very bad. Education, good. Unemployment, eh, too many lazies. Crime, bad. Poverty, not the, not the worst. Uh, at the recent election, your party won with a majority of 10%. This will give you some political power to implement your policies. All right, guys, let's begin the term in office as part one of this video. All right. This concludes part one. We will be back with part two where we actually start with the gameplay.